These are the top three email automations that I use in my Shopify store that literally make me money while I sleep. And the third one is super cool and no one's talking about it. And if you don't do it, you're literally leaving money on the table. My name is Brendan Gillen. I'm an e-commerce entrepreneur and I'm a Clavio partner. I'm on a mission to help e-commerce entrepreneurs just like you start, scale, and grow their e-commerce businesses using the experience that I've had in the last 15 years working within e-commerce on my own stores and with multi-million dollar brands. Now we're going to be using Clavio today to implement these email automations. And the reason I use that for my email marketing is it's specifically designed for e-commerce. It makes creating automation super simple, creating emails really easy, and it plugs into all the e-commerce platforms seamlessly. Now, if you do use another email marketing platform, you can still use these strategies. I'm just not entirely sure they're gonna work the exact same way. So if you don't have Klaviyo, what I've got for you is a free subscription for up to 500 subscribers. So you can grab that down below in my description and get started with Klaviyo straight away. Now, the first automation that you need to have is our welcome offer. This is by far my most valuable offer and the one that brings in the most amount of revenue into Klaviyo every single day. Now this is the type of offer that you often see on stores when there's a pop-up on the store and it says sign up for a discount. Now I know what you're thinking, pop-ups are annoying, but the data doesn't lie. Every time we have a pop-up, we get a subscription, they get a discount code and they spend money with us. Why do you think some of the biggest stores in the world still have pop-ups on them? They might annoy you and me, but they work. So don't ignore them and you do need them on your store. Now I break this welcome automation up into six emails. Yep, six. Now I know what you're thinking, that's a lot of emails, but we're not sending them one after the other. We're sending them spread out over a period of time and we're gonna be giving people information, not necessarily asking them for the information. The first email we send is the offer. So it's the thing that someone has signed up for. We need to send this out instantly and it needs to be clear, concise with just the offer in the email, nothing else. The second email now gets sent the next day. So 24 hours from when they signed up. This email is called our about us email. This is the one where you introduce your brand to them, why you exist and what it is that you offer. We're not selling in this email, we're just introducing ourselves to them so they know who we are. Now we send a third email three days from the welcome email that we just sent. Now this is a follow us type email. This is where we list our social media accounts and we create links to our social media. We might put images in there of the things that we share. What we're doing here is we're asking our subscribers to become part of our community and follow us and be part of the journey that we're on. Now you may have noticed by now we've sent three emails and in none of them we've actually asked a customer to buy something from us. And the reason for this is, is what we're doing is we're nurturing the customers in our list. We're getting to know them and they're getting to know us. We're not going straight out and asking them to buy from us. Now we're on to the fourth email. This is called our best sellers email. And this is the one where we send products now in front of the customer. So if we think about it, they know who we are, they know our community, they know what we believe in, and now we're gonna show them some products. Now these are gonna be the best selling products that most people buy from our store. And at the bottom of this email, we're gonna shoot them a little reminder about the discount code that we sent them earlier. Okay, now we're gonna send another email three days later. This is going to be a reviews email. We're going to send an email with has our testimonials or star rating reviews that customers may have left in the past. This is the one where it shows a little bit of social proof that people do buy from us and they love us. Okay, now we're gonna send the final email in this welcome series. And this is the one where we're gonna remind them about the coupon code if they haven't used it before. The next must have email automation is our cart abandonment automation. Now a cart abandonment email is when someone goes to your store, adds a product to the cart, they get to the checkout, they enter the email address, but they don't get any further. They don't put in their credit card details or their shipping information, anything like that. They just get to the cart and leave. It's almost like if you're in a store, you walk to the counter, you drop the goods on the counter and you walk off. So what we wanna do here is we wanna re-engage that customer. Now what a lot of store owners do here, which is completely wrong, is they send a discount code out to the customer to get them to come back. Now a lot of stats show that people don't necessarily leave the cart because of price. They may leave for multiple reasons. They may leave that they didn't have their credit card on them, they may have got distracted, or they just weren't ready to buy at that stage. So what we do is we send the first email 30 minutes after they abandon the cart and we just ask what happened. We want to know whether there was something wrong with the website or whether there's something else that we can help them with. We don't give them an offer at this stage. 
This is a really good email because sometimes people will reply with a problem we didn't know exists and we can fix that problem. Maybe the shipping charges them twice. Maybe nothing worked. Maybe the website was broken. We're going to know because someone's going to reply to this email because we're genuinely concerned about why they didn't finish their order. Now, the second email, however, is where we do send them the offer. We send them a little short term offer that only lasts for seven days to encourage them to buy from us. Now, this is going to be a unique coupon code that has an expiry date. Now, I keep emphasizing expiry because we want to create some scarcity and urgency for someone to make that purchase. Think about it, if they got all the way to the cart, there is some sort of intent to buy. So now what we want to do is get them across the line. So that's where this second email is where we send the offer to that person. Okay, we wait for three days and we hope that they've made a purchase. If they haven't, we now send them another email. This email, however, talks about the limited stock. So this is where we create the scarcity. We're going to send them an email that says the item that they've looked at is running low on stock. And if they don't wanna miss out, they should purchase it as quickly as possible. We tie this in with the coupon code and the limited stock. And now we've got scarcity and urgency. It's a great recipe for someone to buy. Now, if they still haven't bought at this stage, we wait another three days. But what we do here is we remind them that they have a short term offer, which is the seven day offer. And we tell them that it's expiring very soon. If they don't want to miss out on the discount and they don't want to miss out on the stock, they should buy straight away. And so if they haven't purchased now, we do wait another five days and we send them a final email. Now, this isn't one where we're pestering them to buy from us. This is one that comes directly from the CEO. And this is the one that says, hey person, I just wanted to check in with you. I noticed that you got to the checkout, but you didn't make a purchase. Was there something that went wrong? Was there something that we could do better? We genuinely would like to know. Cheers, the CEO. This is a fantastic email and not everyone knows that it's automated and we do get lots of responses. And the reason that these responses are important is we find out why people aren't buying from us. And if we can find out why they aren't buying from us, then we can make changes on our website to prevent that from happening again, which actually reduces the amount of abandoned carts and increases the amount of sales that we get. Now the final email automation and by far my favorite email automation is this one and we call it the secret sale. Now the secret sale is a win back promotion and what a win back promotion is, we want to win customers back that may have shopped with us in the past but haven't shopped with us in the last 12 months. So what we're gonna do is create a segment in Klaviyo that does just that. It targets the people that haven't shopped with us in a while. Once we've got that segment, we now create the series of emails. The first email is going to launch a secret sale and this is what it looks like. We send an email that is written in real text and the subject line is going to be something like this. 15% off secret sale for 48 hours only. Now the key to this email is the real text side of things. We want this email to come through from a person. We want it to be from the CEO of the company directly to that customer. We want them to think that the CEO is personally reaching out to that customer and telling them about this sale. So it needs to be written in real text. No branding, no links, no signatures. Now this email is super short and it goes something like this. Hey Brendan, I just wanted to let you in on a secret sale we're running over the next 48 hours. I'm inviting you personally as an existing customer of ours because I know you love value and I know you love our products. This sale is only open to a select group of people and to access it, you need to use a code. And this code is whatever code you decide. In order to use this, it needs to be used in the next 48 hours. You can do that by clicking here. P.S. Don't tell anyone about this sale because it's a secret. Signed, the CEO. Now again, has to be in real text. Customers need to believe that it's coming from a real person and not an automated system. We then send a series of emails over the next 48 hours. We actually send three more emails broken up into 12 hour chunks. So every 12 hours they get a new email. Now the email is pretty much the same. The only changes we make is that we're running low on stock and this sale is gonna end really, really soon. Each one is written in a super personal tone. These get super high engagement, they get replies, and the best thing is they make money. It does sound like we're sending a lot of emails, but the difference is these aren't marketing type emails. These are direct emails that are coming from the CEO. So people don't see them as that. When we run this campaign, every single email actually makes revenue. The first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. And our unsub rates are actually really low. In many cases, we don't get any unsubs at all. The amazing thing about this secret sale flow is it gets old customers back into your world. 
They may have been gone forever and it's a lot cheaper to keep an existing customer than to win a new one. So these types of campaigns are super powerful. The cool thing is you can just have this running in the background at all times. And as soon as a customer hasn't purchased from you for 12 months, they'll automatically get thrown into this flow. So guys, they are the best three automations that make me money while I sleep. And I make sure that I do that last one all the time because that just prints money for me and brings in old customers. So to recap, first email needs to be a welcome offer with a pop-up on your website. The second one, cart abandon. Don't put the offer in the first email, put it in the second or third email. Create scarcity and urgency. And then the final email, make a secret sale. It has to be really personal and super short. And we wanna make sure that we create urgency in that email as well so don't miss out on this secret offer. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you really liked it, let me know by commenting down below, like the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll make more just like this.